Today I'm going to show you a probability game that you can play on a fantastic website called mathigon.org. This is my design of a board game, uh, but it's based on this beautiful website. You can find all the links to all of these websites down below. First of all, you go to mathigon.org, you click on polypad, then you click on library, and we're going to bring up 100 dice. I'm going to erase 90 of these dice. And I'm going to pull it down into the middle. I'm going to get rid of the background image. Um, and I'm going to zoom in. There we go. Zoom, 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 zoom. Now we've got those 10 dice. What is the score? Right now, if we were to stop here without any rerolls, what's your score? Well, you look at your lowest number excuse me, your lowest number of dice, in this case a one, and multiply it by the number of times that appears. So one times one, your score right now is one. Congratulations. Then you get to re-roll any number of dice that are connected. So I'm gonna re-roll the ones and all of the threes. That will be my first re-roll. Um, and I'm gonna do uh, five or less re-rolls. Okay, so my first re-roll, here we go. So now my score, it's still one times one. Ah, oh, I'm not happy with that. I think I'm gonna keep the fours, but I'm gonna re-roll this here. Ready, get set, and after my second re-roll, I have a score of one times two. This is not going well. Okay, my third re-roll. Okay, so now I have a decision to make. Am I Going to try to reroll this again? Maybe not. Maybe I'll just reroll this. So I've got two rerolls left. I think I'm going to reroll this one and this one, and hopefully I don't get ones. Okay, this one. Okay, and I'm going to reroll this one. Okay, so what's my score? My score is three times two is six. Okay, very simple little game. Now, you can also, instead of uh, playing in your, with your class collaboratively, you could, for example, um, just remove these dice and these dice and these dice. And now you have four groups uh, that you can compete against each other if, you're, if you want to compete. That's it. That is, and you can also choose, um, instead of just five rerolls, you could choose 10 rerolls. And you can also, if you want a mega game, you can also say, okay, on this giant grid now, give yourself um, 20 rerolls, and here you can reroll any rectangle. So, for example, I might jump in here and I reroll this to try to get rid of those ones. Okay, and now I'm going to reroll this. So now I've got done two rerolls, and I can go three, I think I'm going to do that, three re-rolls. And now, oh, I'm going to do this, four re-rolls. Okay, now I'm going to do this here for five re-rolls. Trying to get rid of these ones. Five re-rolls, good. Six re-rolls. I'm just going to do this one. Six re-rolls, seven re-rolls. I think I'm going to do all of these. Eight re-rolls, this one. Nine re-rolls, I'm going to do these ones. Uh, ten re-rolls, I'm just going to do this. Okay, so after ten re-rolls, I've got rid of all of the ones. And that means that my score is reasonably good. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 times 2 is 42, so my score is 42. I think it's a, I think it's a fun little game. I think mathematicians are going to love it because the choices for either one of these games very complex to figure out what is your optimal move if you have a certain number of rerolls left. Enjoy.